We just got the apples in from the harvest. Oh, do they look good? Most of them, but we have to sort them out. Why? Well, Bestos gathered them, so he just grabbed everything that looked like an apple. So some of them look good like this one. A red apple, like me. Yeah, but some of them, not so good. Wait, that's not an apple? <laughs> right. Can I help you sort them out? Sure. We just want to make sure that we only put the good apples in the good apple basket. You got it, Katie. OK. Everything OK, Winston? Some of these are easy to sort. But some of these apples look good, but I'm not sure. Oh, I know. Maybe I should take a bite of each one. Now I know if it's good or bad. <laughs> That's a clever way to do it. But then you would end up with a bite out of every good apple. I guess I didn't think of that. You know, the Bible actually tells us that goodness is a fruit of the Spirit. What's a fruit of the Spirit? When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works in us to make us more like Jesus. Then we have the fruit of the Spirit. But it's not fruit like the apples here. It's things like kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. All those fruits would go into the good basket. That's right. So when we have goodness, we treat others well because we know Jesus. How can I treat others well? We can treat others well by thinking about how we would want to be treated and then doing that for others. So if you're feeling sad, how would you want someone to treat you? Um, I'd want them to sit with me, talk with me, and maybe play with me once I start feeling a bit better. So that would be a great way to treat somebody well when they're feeling sad. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. Is this a good apple? It sure is. I think I got the hang of this. Uh, I don't think this is a good one. Nope. We better keep going. We have a lot to sort through. <laughs> we sure do. And we should go teach Bestos what an apple looks like. Good plan. 